Hey there guys, it's Henry from Red Sky here, and today I'm trying a new approach to tutorials. You know, most people, they make a tutorial, and it's like seven minutes, you know? It takes a long time to watch, and you have to make it yourself, so I'm going to try to make quick tutorials. So what I've already done is I've already built the mechanic that we're going to be doing today. It's going to be jumping. And then I'm just going to show you guys what I did. So hopefully it'll speed up your development process. Okay, so let's go into the scene. You see it's just kind of up at the top. You know, it used to be a game that I'd done, so I had stuff down here, but you don't need to do that. And then I have one attribute. It's just jump. It's an integer. It's pretty simple. I'll go back into the actors. We got stars. It just says when touch is pressed, change attribute, jump to one. So it's just like when you touch it, the character, well, it's just going to change the attribute jump to one. So that's like recognizing that you touch and it'll go up. And then we'll go into this character. It's jump zero. Doesn't have any rules. But notice how in the physics, it is not movable and has a fixed rotation. That's pretty important. I see a lot of people forget that. That's just under the block. It's kind of like the ground, you know. So now let's go into the runner. You just have gravity, and then we've got two real attributes, start Y and start X. We say change attribute, start X to self position X. And then constraint attribute, self position X to start X. So this is saying that the X is always going to be the same. And then change your attribute, self dot start Y to self position Y. So that's pretty basic stuff, used in a lot of different types of games. I have an attribute, jump. When that's one, so that's saying when the background is pressed, after half of a second, uh, and, it o and it overlaps or collides with jump zero, that's the block, like the ground, change attribute, jump to zero. And then this says, when jump is zero, constrain attribute, remember that's constant. That means it's always running, it's always going to keep it like that. Whereas change is a one-time kind of thing. So constraint attribute, self position Y to self start Y. And then when jump is 1, we're going to change self motion linear velocity Y to 450. You know, you can change those numbers depending on what you want the feel of your game to be like. But, I mean, I just kind of did that. It's kind of what I was looking for. So now here you guys can see... What it turns out to be. Okay. So I can touch anywhere on the background and this character jumps. So that's one way of doing it. There's a few other ways. You can use gravity. I mean, this is just the way I like to do it. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next week.